If you drive a Toyota Corolla, even though you can afford a Benz, that is financial wisdom. If you drive a Toyota Corolla, because that is the maximum that you can afford, that is a financial mistake. You should never operate according to your financial strength. Always operate below. Because it is not your revenue that is going to make you rich. It is your income that is going to make you rich. What is the difference? This is your revenue. This is your income. Your revenue is everything that you make within the month. Everything that comes to you within the month. Your income is what is left after what you have consumed. Right? There are typically two ways that you can achieve an income. Two ways. Either by consuming less, okay, or by increasing your revenue. So that it wouldn't really matter how much you consume. So long as you don't consume all of your revenue, you still make an income. Now, this is why a lot of people say that a job is not the right way to go about it. Even though I believe that it is the starting point. Because your revenue is fixed. And for you to make an income, you have to force yourself, even if you are thirsty, you have to force yourself to consume less. Which is not the point. Right? So that is not the ideal situation. The ideal situation is for you to increase your revenue so that you could consume a little bit more and still be, have a lot of income. It is your income that is going to change your financial life, not your revenue. How do you track your income? Don't lose me. This is what I do every single month and I encourage everybody to do that every single month. Get a piece of paper, divide it into two. Every single thing, and if you understand this, you are never going to be confused about any financial literacy video on the internet. Because every video that you see, you are going to understand it. Take a piece of paper, divide it into two. Every single thing that brings money in your pocket every month, you put it at one side. Everything that takes money out of your pocket, you put it at the other side. Now the difference between the money that comes in your pocket and the money that goes, it's your income. If it's exactly the same, it means you have no income. And you start being rich from the moment where you have an income. That is where being rich starts. From the moment, it doesn't matter how much you make, how much revenue you have. Being rich starts from the point where you have an income. This income, you have to track it every month. Every month. Now, every single time that you see an information on the internet, this is what you need to do. Look at your income. Does the information that you see on the internet increase your income or does it decrease it? If you understand this, you are going to have a certain clarity financially said that every time, even when you see my content, okay, that, that, that is not good for you, you will know because the things that will increase my income wouldn't necessarily increase your income. When you have this understanding, you are able to look on the internet and every single bit of information on the internet suddenly makes sense to you. Nobody's going to confuse you anymore because you are going to have a personal yardstick that you measure all this information with. Some people say you should buy a house. Some people say don't buy a house. Some people say borrow money. Some people say don't borrow money. Some people say, but all of this in the, in the world of financial literacy and income is the absolute goal. If you are uh, the absolute goal, if you want, you can call it the God of financial literacy. All this information points to the same thing, right? And what is good information or bad information to you will depend on its relationship with your income, not your revenue. Its relationship with your income and not your revenue. If you like my video, kindly like it because the more you like and comment on my videos, the more you see future videos of mine.